In the heart of the Appalachian Mountains stood Raven Peak, a majestic yet foreboding mountain that loomed over the surrounding wilderness like a silent sentinel. Its name was whispered with reverence and fear by those who knew of its dark history, a history that spoke of vanished hikers, inexplicable disappearances, and chilling encounters with the unknown. Among the brave souls who dared to venture into the shadow of Raven Peak were four friends, Sarah, a fearless adventurer with a penchant for danger, Mark, a seasoned outdoorsman with a skeptical mind, Emily, a nature enthusiast drawn to the mysteries of the wild, and Jake, a thrill-seeker always eager for the next adrenaline rush. Their journey began on a crisp autumn morning as they set out to conquer Raven Peak's treacherous trails armed with backpacks filled with supplies and a sense of excitement, they plunged into the dense forest that cloaked the mountain's base. The air was thick with the scent of pine needles and the distant echo of wildlife. As they climbed higher, the trail grew steeper, the trees crowding in around them like silent sentinels. Sarah led the way, her steps sure and steady, while Mark kept a watchful eye on their surroundings, his senses tingling with an unspoken unease. Emily marveled at the beauty of the wilderness, her heart pounding with exhilaration, while Jake forged ahead with reckless abandon, eager to reach the summit. But as the hours passed and the sun began to dip beneath the horizon, a sense of dread settled over the group like a shroud. The forest grew eerily quiet, the only sound the crunch of leaves beneath their feet and the distant howl of the wind. Shadows danced among the trees, twisting and contorting in unnatural shapes, and a chill crept into the air that had nothing to do with the setting sun. We should find a place to make camp for the night, Mark suggested, his voice tight with apprehension. Sarah nodded in agreement, her gaze sweeping over the surrounding landscape. There's a clearing up ahead, she said, pointing to a patch of moonlit grass peeking through the trees. They quickly set up their tents, their movements swift and efficient, but the sense of unease lingered like a stubborn fog. As darkness descended upon Raven Peak, they gathered around a crackling fire, its warm glow casting flickering shadows across their faces. Tell us a story, Sarah, Emily said, her voice barely above a whisper. Something to take our minds off this place. Sarah obliged, spinning a tale of ancient legends and forgotten lore her words weaving a spellbinding tapestry of mystery and intrigue. But even as she spoke, a sense of dread gnawed at the edges of their consciousness, a primal instinct warning them of unseen dangers lurking in the darkness. Suddenly, the forest erupted into chaos, a cacophony of rustling leaves, snapping branches, and guttural growls that sent shivers down their spines. They huddled together, their hearts pounding in their chests, as unseen eyes watched them from the shadows. We need to get out of here, Mark said, his voice urgent. Now. With trembling hands, they doused the fire and packed up their belongings, their movements swift and frantic. But as they turned to flee into the safety of the night, they found their path blocked by a wall of impenetrable darkness, a darkness that seemed to pulse with a malevolent energy all its own. Trapped and alone. They huddled together in terror as the forest closed in around them, its twisted branches reaching out like gnarled fingers to claim them for its own. And as the first rays of dawn illuminated Raven Peak's haunted slopes, they knew that they would never escape the mountain's terrible grip, a grip that held them tight in its icy embrace for all eternity. The night was long and filled with horrors that seemed to seep from the very heart of Raven Peak itself. The four friends huddled together. Their minds racing with fear and uncertainty as the darkness pressed in around them like a suffocating cloak. Sarah's heart hammered in her chest as she strained her ears for any sign of what lurked beyond the veil of shadows. The forest seemed to hold its breath, as if waiting for the perfect moment to strike. We have to do something, Mark whispered, his voice barely audible over the pounding of their hearts. But what could they do? Trapped in the grip of Raven Peak's malevolent power, they were powerless to fight against the unseen forces that surrounded them. Emily's hands shook as she fumbled for her phone, her fingers trembling as she dialed 911. But when she pressed the phone to her ear, all she heard was static, a chilling reminder that they were truly alone in the wilderness, cut off from the outside world. We can't stay here, Jake said, his voice tinged with desperation. 
we have to find a way out. With no other options, they gathered their courage and set out into the darkness, their only hope of escape lying in the unknown depths of the forest. The trees loomed overhead like silent sentinels, their twisted branches reaching out to snag at their clothes as they pushed deeper into the heart of Raven Peak. Every step felt like a descent into madness, the darkness pressing in around them like a suffocating fog. Hours passed in a blur of fear and uncertainty, their progress slow and laborious as they struggled to navigate the labyrinthine trails of the mountain. The air grew colder with each passing moment, a bone-chilling cold that seemed to seep into their very bones. We can't keep going like this, Sarah said, her voice strained with exhaustion. We need to find shelter. They stumbled upon a dilapidated cabin nestled deep within the forest, a relic of a bygone era, its weathered walls sagging with age and neglect. It was a welcome sight in the midst of the wilderness, a beacon of hope in the darkness that surrounded them. They cautiously approached the cabin, their senses on high alert for any sign of danger. The door creaked open on rusty hinges, revealing a dimly lit interior shrouded in shadow. It's better than nothing, Mark said, his voice grim as he stepped inside. The interior of the cabin was musty and damp, the air heavy with the scent of decay. But it offered them shelter from the biting cold outside, a refuge from the horrors that lurked in the darkness. They huddled together in the flickering light of a single candle, their nerves frayed and their spirits broken by the relentless onslaught of terror. Outside, the wind howled like a banshee, its mournful wail echoing through the trees. We have to find a way out of here, Emily said, her voice trembling with fear. We can't stay trapped in this place forever. But even as she spoke, a sense of hopelessness settled over them like a suffocating blanket, their minds clouded by the overwhelming sense of despair that filled the cabin. As the hours stretched on into eternity, they huddled together in the darkness, their thoughts consumed by the looming specter of Raven Peak. They dared not sleep, for fear of what nightmares awaited them in the depths of their dreams. But eventually, exhaustion overcame them, and one by one, they succumbed to the siren song of sleep. Their dreams were haunted by visions of darkness and despair, of twisted shadows lurking in the corners of their minds. When they awoke, it was to a world transformed, a world cloaked in an eerie silence that seemed to stretch on for eternity. The cabin was bathed in a soft, ethereal light, its walls shimmering with an otherworldly glow. We have to get out of here, Jake said, his voice urgent as he scrambled to his feet. But when they tried to leave, they found the door sealed shut, as if held fast by some unseen force. Panic surged through them like a tidal wave, their minds reeling with the realization that they were truly trapped in this cursed place. We have to find another way out. Sarah said, her voice tinged with desperation. They searched the cabin from top to bottom, their hearts sinking with each passing moment as they found no means of escape. It was as if Raven Peak itself had conspired to hold them prisoner within its grasp. Hours turned into days as they languished in the darkness of the cabin, their spirits broken by the relentless onslaught of despair. They clung to each other for comfort, their minds clouded by the oppressive weight of their predicament. But even in the depths of their despair, a glimmer of hope remained, a tiny spark of defiance that refused to be extinguished. For they knew that as long as they drew breath, there was still a chance, a chance to break free from the grip of Raven Peak and reclaim their lives once more. And so they waited, their eyes fixed on the sealed door of the cabin, their hearts filled with a determination born of desperation. For they knew that no matter what horrors awaited them on the other side, they would face them together, united in their quest for freedom.